It's a cold and blustery day here today at the National Judicial College in beautiful Reno, Nevada. And here we have one of our protest supporters. What's your name, young lady? <laughs> no comment. No comment. That's a, I've heard that name before. All right, stop the war on fathers. Fathers for Justice flags are set up. We got your members of the judiciary here. All the players are here today. Who do we have over here? Uh, hi, young lady. What's your name? My name is Jan Smith. Jan Smith. And why are you here today? I'm here to protest the judges' training center, where they're getting trained false information and then taking that into the courtroom as they are destroying families and alienating parents from their children. False information? I don't understand. Who would give the judges false information and why? That makes no sense. You know, it's, it doesn't make any sense and I don't blame you for asking that question. And there seems to be an agenda and that agenda has to do with you know, changing and challenging the family system and the core unit of the family. And by providing the judges with false information, they overreact to scenarios in their courtroom. Aren't judges, I would, geez, I would hope that the members of our judiciary would be smart enough to know right from wrong. If they're getting some good information or some bad information, um, is there some kind of funding or something for this program? Well, there's a tremendous amount of funding in both Title IV D and E. But it's more that they were originally fooled by the federal public policy that was brought in uh, on family law and which all family law springs from. And if you read the book, Beyond the Best Interest of the Child, you will be able to see that they were fooled at, throughout that book through using shame cell techniques. Ah, I see. So is, are you the author of that book? Is that why you're talking about that book? Is I'm that talking your... about that book because I found it after searching tirelessly trying to find out where their beliefs are coming from. And once I found that book and read it from cover to cover, then everything uh, it started to make sense to me. I see. And how long will you be here protesting? Uh, through today. Well, uh, thank you for the interview. I appreciate your time. Hello, young man. Um, may I have your name? My name is Hazard Sanker. Hazard Sanker. And I see you have a Judge Horton arrested for child molestation. I find that hard to believe that a judge was actually arrested for child molestation. Well, most of these judges are criminal. The problem is, is that they're destroying the families, they're ripping children from fathers, from mothers. And it's a horrible thing that's going on here. Uh, why are they doing it? It makes absolutely no sense to me. They're, they're, so you're telling me that they're destroying the family unit, but why? For money. Money? Money, big money. Federal tax dollars, your tax dollars. My tax, My dollars. tax dollars. Everyone's. I, and, and so where do these tax dollars come from? VAWA, Social Security. Wow, so there's a, there's a financial incentive then. You're telling me there's a financial incentive. The courts have a financial ince incentive to separate the children from one of their parents. Yes, yes. And that's why they're doing what they're doing. Under false allegations. So No conviction, just all there needs to be is a false allegation and they get these funding, federal funding. You know, It's not dollar for dollar. It's a bribe, and it's an extortion. It's a bribe from the federal to destroy the family. The states and the counties are so the ones that destroy the federal the government county. knows about it. The federal government knows about it. Oh my God! So, it, it, so we're going all the way to the top with this. Oh, definitely. So, are you telling me then that the, the president of the United States, Barack Obama, who is a father himself, with two two daughters, uh, married to Michelle, and I'm sorry, I forget his daughters' names. But he has two lovely daughters, and he knows what the hell's going on, and he's a father himself? Definitely. Wow. Politicians, the governor, politicians, your, your, your legislatures, the executive branch, the legislatures. Everybody knows what the hell's going on. Here, all three branches of the government are well aware. Hey, so it sounds like, to me, what you're saying is, 
everybody is aware except for the general population and that's why you're here today is that correct exactly Bring ah public awareness to what's going on in the courts well hopefully this video when this video gets out i'm going to put this on youtube and when it gets out people will have that will also enlighten people I and maybe they'll so. share it with two people and it'll go viral because it sounds like a terrible situation that actually so this sounds like child abuse to me oh, it's, it's, if a child is being taken from one of their parents it it sounds like child abuse oh it's it's it's, it's criminal and it's, it, it's insane criminal the, uh, against children these guys are actually when you think about it they're child predators they're doing it ah. to harm children have children kidnapped abused the, so they know full well what they're doing Exactly. Definitely. And they don't care. They don't care. It's that almighty dollar. Wow. That's very, very, very powerful. Gee, I wish I could get uh, communicate with one of them and see what their thoughts are on that. Well, anyway, thank you very much for your time, sir, and good luck with your protest. Uh, thank you. Here's uh, no comment. Hi, no comment. Or no name.